1912. The amendment eliminates, as recommended by the President of the United States, the USDA Watershed and Flood Prevention Operations Program, also known as the Small Watersheds Program. This program is the perfect example of how reckless earmarking can devastate a well-intentioned government program. Like the previous four presidents' budgets, four presidents have proposed to terminate this account, four previous presidents, because, and I quote, Congress has earmarked virtually all of this program in recent years, meaning that the agency is unable to prioritize projects on any merit-based criteria such as cost effectiveness. According to the Congressional Research Service, the Small Watersheds Program was 97 percent earmarked in fiscal year 2009, which severely marginalized the U.S. Department of Agriculture's ability to evaluate and prioritize projects. A 2003 Office of Management and Budget study that showed this program has a lower economic return than any other federal flood prevention programs, including those in the Army Corps of Engineers and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The onslaught of earmarks over the years have most certainly contributed to the current backlog of about 300 unfunded authorized small watershed projects, totaling $1.2 billion. As it was originally intended, the Small Watersheds Program may be a worthwhile program, but by inundating it with so-called congressionally designated projects, the program is challenged to function properly to the point where four, not one, not two, not three, four previous presidents have recommended its termination. Nevertheless, the Appropriations Committee hasn't given up on plundering it just yet. The bill provides $24.3 million for the program, including $16.5 million in earmarks for various unauthorized projects. I urge my colleagues to support the President's recommendation. And again, I'd like to quote from the President's recommendation from the President of the United States, and I quote, the administration proposes to terminate the watershed and flood prevention operations program. The Congress has earmarked virtually all of this program in recent years, meaning that the agency is unable to prioritize projects on any merit-based criteria, such as cost effectiveness. So, um, it goes on and on, and the, every analysis, every analysis is that it has a lower economic return than any other program. Four presidents have sought to eliminate it. It really is. Uh, I'll probably, we'll probably lose this vote, uh, Mr. President, but if there's ever a graphic example that once a program is established and once you fund it, it acquires a constituency, a powerful special interest, and then that funding continues on and on and on. Uh, we are proving, and we will continue to prove as we go through the appropriations bill, that there is no program, there is no program that once in being is going to be eliminated by this body. That the appropriators continue to defy not only the President of the United States, but logic and good sense as we amass deficits of monumental proportions which are mortgaging our children and our grandchildren's futures. We can't even stop a program that the President wants terminated, that has no value, that the Office of Management and Budget and any, any objective observer will say deserves determination. And it's only $24.3 million. But the appropriators will join. They will jawbone others, and we will lose this vote the same way we lost a vote yesterday, again, that had been recommended for termination by the President of the United States. I didn't come up with this, Mr. President. It wasn't my idea to terminate it, although I certainly do think so. It was the President of the United States' idea. It's every objective observer. So what are we going to prove with the next vote? Not only that we won't eliminate this program, but we send the message we send the message to the country there is no program 
even though the President of the United States wants it terminated, even though it has a clear record of total inefficiency, we'll continue to maintain it. Sooner or later, there's going to be more tea parties, there's going to be more protests, and the American people are going to rise up and say, stop it. I yield the floor. Mr. President. Senator from Wisconsin. Mr. President, this program provides for cooperation between the federal